Hello everyone, my name is Fitzy64, and today I'm going to show you guys how I created my Game Boy Advance style intro, and how you guys can create your own intros in the same style. First things first, I will show you my custom intro. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And now on to the tutorial. Disclaimer, this process will only work if the text you want to add is 7 characters or less. These are the steps that I used to create my own intro, but don't worry, I'll show you guys a much easier method for you to create your own intros later on in the video. Step 1. Download the Futura Bold Italic font. This font is the closest to the one used in the original Game Boy Advance intro, with the only notable differences being the G and O, which are wider in the Futura Bold Italic font. You guys can download this from many websites. After unzipping the file, import the font into the fonts folder in your PC, usually located in the Windows folder in your C drive. Now, I will show you guys the spelling of Futura Bold Italic. And as you can see here, it is spelled F-U-T-U-R-A. And it is Bold Italic. You guys can download it from 911fonts.com. That is where I downloaded it from. And I will show you guys where my personal Windows fonts folder is. So in my C drive, clicking on Windows, and then right here, it is the called fonts, and it has an A in front of the folder. Okay. This is the only step that you will ha also have to do when you create your own intros, and I'll soon explain why. Step two. Download or screen record a Game Boy Advance intro and import the file into Sony Vegas. And reminder, this is how I did my intro, not how you guys will have to do yours. So I've imported my intro right here. Step 3. In Sony Vegas, right click on a video track. Select Insert Generated Media. And select Legacy Text. Unfortunately, custom fonts like the Futura Bold Italic font do not show up in the new text event, which is shown right here, Sony Tiles and Text, but they do show up in the Legacy Text event, so you will have to use this. Step 4. In the text event, select the Futura Bold font in the Legacy Text, as I've done right here. In the specific frame, position the text directly over the original intro. So as you can see here, if I solo my intro, you guys can see the G right here is placed directly over. And then make sure that you go into the properties, select the eyedrop button after soloing the Game Boy Advance intro, and then click on the color of the letter. Remember that the color shifts as the intro continues it starts from a light pink all the way to dark blue after going through basically the entire color spectrum. This is not how you guys will have to do yours. This is how I did my intro, but I had to individually color each individual letter. Step five, repeat each letter for each frame. There are about 50 frames in the intro and there are seven letters. So this process took me 350 times and again, a reminder, this, this is not how you guys will have to do it. I've made it a lot more streamlined for your guys' six. Step six, replace each letter in the custom intro with your custom letter and mute the video track with the original intro in it. So, as you have finished the replacing every letter with your custom letter, you will then go into the properties of it, and then you will replace this G. Like for mine, it was Fitzy64, so I replaced my G with an F. Now I won't do it here because I already did it and it's a fairly straightforward process to do. Step seven, solo each video track individually and render each track individually. So what this means is you'll press the exclamation point button at the very right of each video track you will select the render button up here, the one that gives the text render as when you are on it for a while. It takes a moment for it to pop up. There it is, render as. 
and then you render it as just a regular mp4 file. Now I've already rendered mine, so I do not have to do this step. Step eight, import them into a second VEG file. And when in this VEG file, adjust the location of each letter and center them as you like. So as you guys can see here, where you guys can pan and crop all the video frames, most of them have been edited in order to get the style that I want personally. Step nine, set the background as the same color of, as the original by selecting Insert Generated Media, selecting Sony Solid Color, and you would add it. You would go into the Generated Media Settings, and then you would eye drop the background of the original intro, or you would choose the color 0 0.92, 0 0.92, 0 0.92, 1.0, and then you would use the, as I, as I just said, use the eyedrop tool to set the specific color. Step 10, import the image of a diagonal rectangle. Uh, I called it the glint personally because that's the best word that I described it with. And then use keyframes to have it pan across the screen. and make sure to chroma key out the backgrounds of each of these video files. And reminder, this is not how you guys will have to do it. This is how I did it. I'll soon show you guys how you guys can do your own with a much easier process, but with a slightly lower quality than normal, uh, here is the VEG file played out. Yeah, so that is how it should look, obviously in a much higher quality. Booting it up to best full, it looks a lot better. But anyway, that's it. Uh, now I expect you guys are all a bit concerned about how much effort what I explained will take, and I understand the feeling. This took me eight whole hours to do, and if you guys are interested in seeing exactly how I made my intro, I have links to the live streams in which I created this intro in the description. However, I have a tutorial for all of you guys who don't want to do this really meticulous way to make an intro. Now, step one, uh, you will still have to download the Futura Bold Italic font and import it into your PC's fonts folder, as I explained before. Step two, access the Google Drive link in the description. It has a link to many contents inside this folder in which I created my GBA style intro. Step three, download all the files in the Google Drive folder and open your copy of Sony Vegas, as I've done right here. Step 4.5, uh, you will have to set all file locations to the downloaded folder. When you download the Google Drive link, all of the files in here, like for example, the F file, it'll have the directory of my personal computer and you guys will have to set the position or the directory of the file to the downloaded copy of your GBA style intro. Step six, sorry, step five, <laughs> replace all letters with the letters that you want in your intro, in GBA style intro. So this means that thankfully you guys will not have to meticulously place and color each individual frame of each individual letter, but instead you will only have to go in to the settings and change it from, for example, from G to F. It's just that simple. Step seven, sorry, step six, I'm off by one still. Step six, individually render each letter by soloing each video track individually and rendering it. So for example, you would start out with for me, I switched Game Boy to Fitzy, and that excluded the last two letters. So the G, I switched to an F, I then pressed the exclamation point button, and then I then rendered it. And I repeated the process for each of the other letters. Now, I'm sure that a lot of you guys are thinking, 
Well, if I have an already existing letter in my title, like for example, uh, for Fitzy and Game Boy, they share a Y in common. And I had this thought as well, don't worry. Uh, I thought that I could use this Y, I could render it, and then shift it over so that it would take a lot less effort. But unfortunately, all of the letters don't take the exact same path when getting to their end set position. So you will unfortunately have to replace uh, each letter. But it's a lot easier than what I did personally. So on to step seven, open up GBA style intro to dot VEG right here. And as you guys can all see here, I've got a letter for F, I, T, Z, and Y. And this is the second iteration of Y because as I explained to you guys before, I tried to use the Y in Game Boy and it didn't work out too well. So what you guys will do is you guys will replace the F, I, T, Z, and Y2 files with the rendered files of each letter and chroma key the background of the videos of each individual letter. Now, all this means is, for example, uh, you've got an F. Let's say that you want to switch it to an M. And what that's going to do is you are going to import in the rendered file for the M. You are then going to delete the file for F. And then you're going to put the M in its place. And then after you import each file, you will then go into the event FX and you will chroma key out the background. Uh, my settings here are I chroma keyed out the color 000 with a low threshold of 0.5, a high threshold of 1, and a blur amount of 0. Then I repeated the same process for I, T, Z, and Y2. Step nine, adjust the location of each letter and center them as necessary in order to achieve the effect you want. So what I mean by this, obviously these are in a pretty similar position to the ones right here, but they might not be perfect. And it could be off by a few pixels. It could be off by a little bit more than a few pixels. So what you're gonna to want to do is go into the video event FX, select the pen and crop tool, and then move it as you please. So if I wanted to move it a little bit further out, I could do that. If I want to move it a bit further back in, or up, or down, however you want to, you guys can do that. Step 10, if you guys have any issues with the whole process, comment on this video, or DM me on Twitter at Fitzy64YT, and I will help as many people as I can. And that should be it. If this still feels like too much effort for you all to do, I will present you guys some good news. I'm taking commissions for just $5. I can create this type of intro for you. All you have to do is follow my Twitter at Fitzy64YT. DM me about what text you would like, as long as it's seven characters or less. PayPal me $5 and expect a turnaround time of at most seven days. However, uh, I must ask that you guys check my Twitter bio before DMing me to make sure that commissions are still open. Thank you all for viewing, and remember, don't leave anything up to chance. See ya!